Hey guys, it's the Fetid Bobo here on the Forest Update 26. My last update video is actually one of my most viewed. Um, which is really cool. It's so awesome that it's almost at 200. But I've noticed some of the people haven't watched it all the way through. And I think that's because it's not compact enough and people just want to see the changes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut some of the changes. And now this is the garden patch that everybody should be familiar with. There is a new icon. You can see it's little seeds with the down arrow. When you press your E or whatever interaction button, the mounds will appear. You can see them just slightly. When you come back after sleeping, they'll grow a little bit. They do grow in real time. You could sit there and stare at them. I tried that for a little bit, but it is it's, it's a bit slow. Uh, but when you sleep and save, now that they keep their state through that process, what the patch notes say, it's plants grow visually over time and provide one to three yield on respective based on their growth time. Plants die one to two days after their max yield point. So once the plants get to their, their largest size, I'm assuming, um, or you know, when they stop growing, is when you should definitely harvest them because they're just gonna die on their own. Um, the other thing to note is I have actually whacked these plants and killed them. So, <laughs> um, be careful swinging your weapon around them because you can just take the plant out itself. You can now sleep in the tents that you find in the wilderness and in caves. Uh, this makes sleeping uh, early in the game and getting a save much easier. Uh, not that it was particularly difficult before, but um, yeah, any of these that you see you can now sleep in and save. So that's pretty cool. Uh, at least makes them functional. Includes the orange tents and uh, the ones in the snow area. Alright, so there is water on the multi-tiered waterfalls now that connects the water together, I guess. Uh, I feel a little bad that I'm not 100% sure what it was. I think it's this rain effect on the water because I don't believe that is in my other videos. But the game looks great regardless. I mean, they're doing a great job, so... Uh, water! Yeah! They have a new rock wall art mesh. Uh, I haven't actually used them before because they were insane amount of rocks in the previous updates. Now they're only four. It's quite reasonable, easy to build. I heard that cannibals kind of just jump right over them though, so it's more of a visual, but with only four rocks and they're easy to get. I guess it's, you know, it's not so bad and you could hold in stuff and impede some movement. I tried to do some funny things with the rocks, but you can't, uh, uh at least... When I was trying, you can't stack them up. Anyways, only four rocks. They look pretty cool. Net, nice. I like it. All right. So one of the other changes they've made is new sinkhole interior art. So if we get over there, we can see that they have a new interior down at the bottom. Uh, at least that's something I haven't seen before. It looks like there's actually some water. Uh, there's a ring on the outside and it looks separate layer from the actual bottom with this thing in the center. Um, also, it looks like there's a multi-tiered waterfall on the edges as well. So it looks very cool. I wonder if it's gonna be dark down there. Unfortunately, I don't know what the lowest cave is, but they say you can access this sinkhole from the lowest cave. When I get that, Point, I will definitely put that up there. That's gonna be really cool, but I don't know <laughs> where the heck the lowest point is in the cave system And you can't just fall down there unfortunately because I would have done that for you guys Hey, you can break these now um, We don't turn anything further past that one break though. There is also a new flare crate that is inside the caves. I couldn't find it, I looked around, but I imagine it looks a lot like this one. Explodes and flares instead of uh, soda. Also, we have changes to the flag marker. Now the top changes with the color and there's a new icon for changing your color. It's kind of cool.
Uh, there is a new model and textures for Timmy in the plane crash. Um, so we're just going to have to play that out. There's also in the previous update a change to the cannibal at, that takes away Timmy. So that's cool to watch too. Uh, we have a new animation for the lower objects and some new magazines. Um, decorative, they said. I don't believe that was a new one. I think I've seen that one before, but I just wanted to show it if you guys noticed any change. All right, I've never actually been in the snow area until this update just to see what changed, but uh, to be honest, I couldn't tell. So I will run around and let you guys see the changes while I list off some of the patch changes. Actually right there you saw the snow on top of the orange tent, that is one of the changes. And I'm just going to read off the rest of them while people who are familiar with the snow area can see those differences. Um, for so, so the snow, remove ferns and marigold flowers from snow areas, added new snow covered rock, snow covered hollow log, and snow covered dead wood. White rabbits will now spawn in snowy parts of the map. Orange snow covered tents added to the snow section. We saw that. New winter top heavy tree added. I think we can see um, some of that right now, but again, I'm not familiar with the snow area. New burn animations added to creepy mutants. I did burn some mutants and they look the same, but maybe that's because I don't know what they define creepy mutant as. Burnt arms and legs are now dynamic objects and can be played with. <laughs> Resetting traps now requires to hold the take button for half a second. They don't reset instantly. Cave props, uh, blue bucket, and cut old arms are now dynamic and pushable. There is an update to cave 7 and 8. Cave 8 moved walls near entrance to clear walking ledge, fixed an air pocket in corridor water, re-exported walls to fix issue with climbing down ropes through rocks, Weights moved down to more easily see what you are placing them in. I'm not sure what weights moved down, but um, if you're familiar with Cave 8, you would know that. Cave 5 added mineral walls to swim up room and added new props. Removed extra cave corpse in dead room of Cave 2. Cave 2 walls re-exported with improved collision. Cave 2 hole and quarter plugged up as well. Um, in cave 10, extra props were added, removed shiny cave debris, less body parts, less body debris in caves, rope layer changed so you can see it from further away in caves, improved enemy navigation mesh should result in less instances of mutants getting stuck, improved collision on cliff pieces to stop players poking head through, <laughs> improved draw distance on outdoor old white tents. Improved draw distance on thrown explosives on built garden plants. Improved look for light and light arrow animation. Improved look of Molotov burning cloth. Now correctly uses two-sided material. Improved garden dirt material texture. We've seen that. Improved draw distance on lake lily pads. Improved ambient reflection on objects. Improved ocean foam lighting at night when torch is out. Improved look of cave water. Fixed sharp edge slash white outline around cave water. Improved accuracy of bonfire collision and its fire damage range. Improved accuracy of plane collision and can no longer crouch slash glitch out of plane side doors. Improved accuracy of bridge collision shape. Removed some old purses and suitcases from the overworld. Made it easier to light campfires with a lighter. Lighter does not have to be exactly over the fire anymore. Raft's driver now automatically unlocks when Rafter gets out of water. Added safety net to bridge saving to allow recovering if 
the anchor data gets lost. Um, this isn't retroactive, broken bridges are gone, but all the new ones, as well as working ones from saves, will make use of the system after saving. So I think some people's bridges were breaking recently, and so I guess what it reads to me is, is where it is locked to, the anchor points. Now that information is going to be held uh, specifically to restore it if it needs to be used rather than just the bridge going you know. <laughs> um, food cooking on a fire is now easier to target. Crafting mat feather tooth tree sap piles are now a bit smaller and teeth are more centered to prevent it from being in inaccessible under bottles, which I've seen before. Like the teeth just, you can't touch them because stuff's on top of them. Uh, weapon rack, explosive holder, and metal door now bring up the same item if available after putting down one. Hitting escape while in the options in game now saves it. Tree houses and platforms now automatically position their rope above ground like anchorable rope does. New enemy behavior. Ooh. Fire mutants can now throw fire bombs at the player. I looked around for these mutants. I think it's maybe because I'm only on like day nine now. But uh, I couldn't find any. But yes, mutants can throw fire bombs at you now. A little Molotov at the face. It's pretty intense. Multiplayer fixes. I'm not going to say multiplayer for each one. Fixed combat for clients being easier than in single player games due to enemies not using counterattacks as frequently. Tweaked enemy frequency to work better with multiplayers compared to single player. All droppable items now swing. <laughs> sync between players. All projectiles are now replicated over the network. Fix swimming sounds of the other players being really loud. Fixed a bug that was causing mutants killed by a happy birthday trap not to fall down for clients when trap was reset. Fix some instances of enemies duplicating when killed. Fix some instances of enemies having wrong material on death. For example, not burnt material if killed with fire. Fix plane not aligned for clients if host plays crash sequence all the way through. Fixed issue with incorrect material on creepy mutant ragdolls. Bloody tables are now synced between players. Oh, that's interesting. The, the tables aren't synced. I wonder if you could stand on one and uh, weird things. Anyways. Raft now synced between players. Fixed bug where items would remain on pedestal, metal doors, after being placed and taken again. Fixed bug where if one player was holding full map, other player would only see them holding a partial map piece. Fix some issues with cooking food for clients. Fixed repairing log cabin walls when the whole chunks are broken. Fixed a case of saving failing for clients. Reduced cost of processing nearby tree detection for host. Optimized animator usage of all creatures in multiplayer. Fixed bug where hanging scene could be could break if player had torch equipped instead of a lighter. Uh, so they're hanging upside down, I believe. We're almost done in the snow area, but um, performance changes. Remove some extra unneeded mesh colliders on distant objects. Decreased math instructions in an ocean shader by 30%. That's pretty cool. New fully deferred version of the skin shader. New ocean quality option. So now you can pick um, low or high. Now these don't change the height of the waves. They just change the quality of those waves. Uh, now forcing flat oceans on 32-bit systems. Just change this as like a fight and stuff because I thought that would be fun. Um, greatly lowered per frame memory usage on ocean waves. Turn down bloom on 32-bit systems to limit memory usage. Combined ocean slash lake depth passes to save memory. Optimized sheen billboard icons. Distance detection. Optimized grass displacement systems to use terrain height instead of raycast to find terrain height. New plant V-face shader added. More accurate lighting on single-sided plants. Okay, now these are audio changes. New flash. Object smash, tree hit, and plain impact sounds for mutant limbs. Improved arm Z sounds, added some distant arm Z sounds. Improved mutant baby sounds, ooh. Added more cowman sounds, added garden digging sound. We've heard that. Hitting planes with weapon now plays a sound. Sound event now plays when players attacked by a shark. All right, and then the last changes before you get to bug fixes are some balance. Lowered Molotov fire spread duration, half chances of raining. Slightly lowered the amount of active animals in the world. 
pale mutants, the ones within the caves, so they don't really have that tribal look to them, are now more aggressive when outside of the cave. All right, well, we are at the end. I've listed out nearly every single change in this patch, except for the bug fixes, which I'll put a link down below if you want to read it all out in details. I've just tried to make it uh, a visual, you know, a visual process compared to the last one, which was a bit more of a runaround. And I found these crocodiles. It was, pre it was pretty cool. I didn't see them before, but they're really, really not dangerous at all. I mean, let me look at that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope everybody has a wonderful day and peace.